d'analyse pour déterminer le moment de la maturité du raisin. We multiply the analysis in order to determine the exact moment of grape maturity. But after all, maybe we're working for nothing. As birds know exactly when the grape is ripe, and when you see the grape being eaten by birds, it means we're getting closer to what we're expecting. Le lien entre Aubryon et États-Unis. The link in between Aubryon and the United States of America, although this link is not peculiar to Aubryon, started with Thomas Jefferson, who came to France and visited the Bordeaux vineyards. He almost ended a classification, which was used again nearly a century after his stay, with the 1855 ranking that everyone knows. According to his travel diaries, Mr. Jefferson has already spotted the greatest growth by noticing that in Margot, Lafitte, Latour and Aubryon, the exceptional terroir allowed to produce great wines. But this really strong link with the United States was confirmed with the arrival of the Dillon family, in which Clarence Dillon, deeply francophile and in love with France, used to often spend some time in Paris. In the 30s, he decided to invest in France, thus arrived in Bordeaux, where he fell in love with this estate and bought it in 1935. In this barrel cellar, we can store a whole harvest of the Houbrillon grape wine and the second wine in red, as well as the white harvest, which is quite small. Altogether, this varying from one vintage to another, we can store from seven to eight hundred barrels. We have to change two factors according to the quality of the vintage, that is to say the raw material, the grapes. The first parameter is on one hand the proportion of new barrels we are going to use. For great historical vintages, we can use up to 100% brand new barrels, renewing each and every barrel for one harvest. On the contrary, we lower the proportion of new barrels to 50% for a vintage of a lesser quality, less structure, so that the wood does not taint the wine too much. And then, on the other hand, the other parameter we are going to adjust is the length of maturing. Globally speaking, the greater and richer the wines are, the longer the maturing will last in order to refine the wine as much as possible. On the contrary, for less rich wine, this period of maturing will be shorter. By the end, we vary with maturing lasting from 18 to 14 months, again 24 months in great years. On the nose, we find all the specificity of our wines produced on the terroir au Brion and of La Mission Brion, notes which can be also found in the various other growths of the Pessac Léonien appellation. Here we have hints of Havana, leather, roasted coffee grains, torrefaction, and cocoa powder. Therefore, this entire aromatic spectrum, we name the aromatic smells, really comes from our soil. Now let's confirm our first impression on the palate. The fact that the wine is so dense, black and deep, is confirming its richness. On the nose, we have had only hints of great maturity, not at all leafy-like. And this is confirmed on the palate by the suavity of the tannins, without any kind of astringency or crudeness. What we have here is a great vintage. 